Last time out, we got into the simulation, engineering, and make segments of AVL. And now we're going to turn up the dial to finish off our look at testing and into the racing segment as well. Continuing our look at AVL's testing facilities, we're here in the VR Cube, the company's home of augmented and virtual reality. I'm here with Stevie, who's going to show me all about it. So Stevie, let's have a look. Yeah, uh, to make this happen, we need to set up these stereoscopic glasses. <laughs> so Stevie, this is our augmented reality. We've got a wonderful motorbike here. What can you show me? Yeah, I can show you how we do a design review. So for a design review, it's very important that we have the native uh, cut data available. And with our tools, we can really make section cuts oh, wow. through the design. We can really look inside. We can make uh, profound uh, investigations in terms of uh, size, and of course, also if the diameters of the of the of the supports are working, we can make annotations. We have a technical discussion with the customer or with our design teams internally, and we can make some annotations, screenshots, video recordings, and of course, also pre-assembling animations within this uh, power wall. And uh, this helps to increase the quality of, of the engineering a lot because everything we define in front of the manufacturing and we can correct it, this saves a lot of time and money. And this is a win-win situation. This is quite a futuristic concept. Um, is it widely available or is it something that you're pioneering now? It is, it is in, in this terms of uh, technology, and field we are working, we are almost uh, the first ones using this in a collaborative way because we have a lot of engineering centers around the world and we can connect the walls to each other, uh, say screenshots, comments, and really work together with the engineering departments interdisciplinary with mechanical engineering, electrical engineering uh, <laughs> on, the, on the details. Yeah, it's, it's so realistic. I, can, I feel like I can touch it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's amazing. And now it's time to have a look at uh, VR, Stevie. Uh, what have you got for me? Absolutely. Now you're standing with your actual body height into an AVL test bed. You can really full circle, you can see, you can even go down and observe the design firsthand. Wow, that is incredible. That is like the same test bed that we've seen earlier. Yep. Wow. I can yes. look in the engine. That's Crazy. You can see through, see through the valve, see through the. So this is where piston. we can really examine all the all the designs, all the haptics, all the ergonomics, and can really make rapid reviews throughout the engineering process. I'm not really sure what to say, Luke. <laughs> this is mad. Can you get your head inside? Put my hand on the windowsill. Oh my god, that's incredible. It's got the dials, got everything. So this is also for product presentations or for ergonomic studies inside of, of smaller rooms. With the VR, it's absolutely no problem. Oh wow. And with that impressive display of technology over, Stevie showed me just how blurred the lines between reality and VR can be. I think I'm ready to go. Oh God. Oh. <laughs> and while it looks like I'm just sitting in a chair, what that doesn't show oh, you is just no. how that feels. Oh. Your inner ear is going, your senses are making you feel like you're dropping hundreds of feet. You even feel oh. a little bit nauseous. Oh god, I'm gonna die. Oh, don't worry. <laughs> uh, uh. Yeah. <laughs> this is well how done. I die. Well done. <laughs> oh my good lord, that was incredible. My, my stomach is still going, uh, still churning. Uh, that felt real. That felt very, very real. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. 
Oh, my head's spinning. It really is. Yeah. Thank Stevie, you. thank you're you welcome. so much. You're it's welcome. incredible. <laughs> we try to do our best to make it as realistic <sighs> as possible. Well, that's, that works. <laughs> Looking around the Graz HQ, you can see AVL Racing are just as well equipped and as passionate as any other racing team in the industry, if not better. Let's get back on track with our final part, racing. So if you're wondering what all of this is on the walls, we're in one of AVL's acoustic chambers. I'm joined by two Formula Student cars behind me and Julia. So Julia? AVL is massively involved in Formula Student, so what do you get out of it as a company and how do you sort of invest in people's futures? It's a really interesting question. Formula Student is for us a really big and interesting topic. On the one hand, for example, we as a neutral and independent partner, we are not allowed to really tell in specific what we have achieved with our customers. So Formula Student gives us the opportunity to have some testimonials and give really insights what we are doing in our daily work and use uh, the, the guys for social media or on other digital platforms. And of course, we are constantly involving. We have new innovations and we use this part or this, um, this group to try our innovations and get some feedback and know how, how we are doing and if we can really apply this to our racing team customers. And so being part of the Formula Student Experience, it really gives you a chance to see some talent in all of these teams. Yes, definitely. So we work together globally with over 60 Formula Student teams and it gives just access to a huge number of highly educated people who know how to work and also how to have fun. So it's, it's, a, yeah, it's a perfect combination. So to demonstrate how AVL works with these Formula Student teams, let's talk to some of their team members. These are two of the top teams in Graz. First of all, I'm joined by Matthias. Thank you for joining me. Thank you very much. So how does AVL work with your team? Yeah, AVL is a great sponsor for us. Um, we have, first of all, the, the further investigations on the car and all, as well on the, and the engine, and as well sending us to far away, um, far away to other competitions overseas. Stefan, how has your experience been with AVL in Formula Student as well? Yes, uh, AVL is for us a very important sponsor. They give us the possibility to use their engine test managers and that's very important for us to find the right engine setup. They also give us the possibility to fly to Michigan every year. And just recently, AVL was with the Formula Student finals at the Red Bull Ring in Austria, which looked absolutely incredible. Looking at the scale of AVL's base in Graz, you can see how closely they operate similar to other teams. And like those teams, one of those elements is their young driver program. I'm joined by Ferdinand Habsburg, who is part of that scheme. Ferdinand, what's it like working with AVL? It's cool. I wish I did more. Um, it's obviously in my home country, so uh, it feels nice to always come back and, uh, and uh, not only enjoy the, the company and, uh, and, and what they can do for me, but also the good food and stuff like that, so it's a, it's, it's a lot of mixed benefits. So what do you actually do here? Uh, it's preparation for races, that kind of thing? Yeah, mainly. So they've been supporting me for a long time now and uh, put their faith in me for, from a young age, so uh, I'm, I'm super grateful. Uh, they've always helped me whenever they could. Um, their simulator is as advanced as it gets and, um, and you don't get that sort of access when you're younger um, and you don't get that sort of preparation. Uh, so it's a huge benefit and simulators are so relevant nowadays that when you have access to this kind of stuff uh, you can really uh, gain an advantage and that's what racing is about as a, as a youngster. And when you come to the simulator you do a few warm-up exercises, don't you? I, I do, otherwise I'd crash a lot, so <laughs> I need to uh, stay, stay focused because it's as realistic as it can be, so you need a lot of mind prep. The only difference is obviously you, when you're getting into a race car you're aware of that, so the you try to make it as close as possible. So my warm-up procedure and my mind prep and stuff like that is, is relevant so that um, my mind and body know I'm about to get into a racing car, not just a simulator. Um, because once you're in there and you're going, your reactions and how you act have to be as they are in a racing car um, because that's how it is. It's, it's, it's very realistic. And so when you come here and you work with the engineers, do you just debrief and then that's something you can take to the track? For sure. I mean, you're working with engineers that are 
pretty much always quite a lot more higher up the, the scales than I have worked with before. And when you're in Formula Renault, they're normally just young guys that, that are also, I mean, racing in, in, in junior single seaters, it's not just the drivers that are generally slightly less experienced, it's everybody around and that's just how it is. And the higher you go, the more experienced people you work with and the more experienced yourself is. So uh, when you come here, you're working with top notch experience. And so they can really bring a lot to you in the sense of how how you can look at things and, and uh, getting gaining new perspectives. So I have to be on my A game for sure whenever I come here because they, they are as well. And um, that's what's really prepared me really well actually for DTM because uh, it's one of the most high class racing series there is. I've been prepped as good as I can be with uh, a firm like ABL. Finally, we come to the director of motorsport, Michael Rezel, to discuss AVL's fundamental ethos and role in the future of motorsport. We're standing outside AVL's headquarters in front of the brain, and I'm with Michael Rezel. Michael, thank you for joining me. Now, Formula One, we know it is the biggest racing series on the planet, and that's undergoing a massive rule change for 2021. What do you see as the future for that, and how is AVL going to get involved with that? Well, as always, road changes uh, are good for the sports for us. Looking back at 2014, uh, when there was the last major road change, we had to prepare ourselves anyways, uh, learning from that, going into the future. So we are constantly working with our customers in these fields uh, to get prepared, get early involved, so that there's no big surprises at the end of the day when our customers actually need the solutions that we develop with and for them. So obviously AVO is massively involved with that sort of why really? What's what's the reason behind it? Well, uh, ABL was founded in the 1940s uh, and immediately went straight into racing with our customers because in the good old days it was uh, developing on the racetrack for the OEM uh, on the road car. And uh, sometimes it's vice versa, sometimes it's the good old style. And uh, as ABL was massively involved 25 years ago already in battery development, electric motor development. We are super fit for helping all these hybridization uh, activities in not only Formula One, but also other series. So those are the five core pillars of AVL as a company, and it's pretty clear to see that they're integral to the future of motorsport. Whenever you see a motorcycle or a car pounding around the track, always think about how much simulation, testing, and technology has gone behind it. The scale of this place is pretty massive, and I've got to find a way out of here, so I'll see you later. Wrong way. <laughs>